Hey guys, welcome back to Fears to Fathom, episode 3. If you have not watched me play this episode already, I recommend you checking it out first because today we are just going to be trying to see if I can win because last time I failed. So yeah, we are going to be going into episode 3 called Carson House and we are going to go to the latest save which is Power Back. So, Let's see if I can beat the game this time. I think I know what to do, so let's get right in. I turned the power back on. Okay. I could tell that someone had cut the power off from the outside. Why is it extra dark? Oh, because my ring light's on. Oh, it's on. Unknown sender. You would said we'd stay friends. I thought I heard something in my house, but I think it's in this house. So what I think happened last time, the mistake that I made last time, um, I think I thought that she was outside here, but I think she was outside here for most of the time. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is when she's there, I'm gonna have to sneaky sneak out here. Maybe go in the laundry room. That's my plan as of right now. Let's do my little homework. The creaking, she's in the house, I think. I think she's in the house. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. You have a right to feel that way. It might sound stupid, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Overthink away. She's in the house, she's... There's a the knife, I remember that, I remember that. Why am I like more scared now <laughs> than I was last time? Like. I feel scared. I don't know why. I've been through this before. Back upstairs, back upstairs, back upstairs, back upstairs, back upstairs, back upstairs. Back upstairs we go. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she currently? Low key, it made me feel very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. It's not he, it's she. It's my crazy ex. Why am I so nervous? Dude, he's at my place right now. Dun dun dun. Surprise! I attributed all that to my like asleep. I was aware I have a tendency of being overly paranoid. Oh, me too. <laughs> the only logical thing I could do is keep my eye on the monitor. I did not last time. Well, I did a little bit, but I think I missed. Okay, yeah, she she opened that door. Where is she? Now I now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Yeah, why didn't you? But at the time I was so engrossed with my own thoughts. That the idea never entered my head. Why did it not? I wanted. What did he. Okay. Okay, where is she? Where is she? I think she might be upstairs. Oh! Oh, I didn't see this. I didn't see her go up the stairs. I felt my heart skip a beat. Oh, where's upstairs? Where's upstairs? Where's upstairs? I'm missing all the action. I froze and kept staring at the screen of pure. I'm nervous because now I'm gonna have to actually try to escape. Noah? I'm going for it. I should have closed it. I really missed you. I was supposed to just wait and be patient, wasn't I? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dum dum dum. Crazy. Oh, this is when she watches the TV. I, I've never seen it happen.
go time. Again. Oh. No. Noah? Go away, you crazy bitch. <laughs> How did you get in here? Who is treating me like shit? I know everything. I know you left me for her. At least she's not a junkie like you. But I love you. What about that? Oh, it doesn't matter what you say. Okay. Mm, doesn't matter. We deserve a second chance. You know I could turn you in to the police for this. Then I will fucking kill both of you. That's my signal. So fucking. And I will stay. They have you. No one else and ran down the block, my dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough, and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince me, she was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. She had a knife, <laughs> but of course the cop wasn't buying it. Good. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment, she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that, that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. I did it! Achievement unlocked survivor! Oh, that's so satisfying. I did it! I hope you guys are proud of me. I'm very proud of myself. I hope that they come out with more episodes soon because I love loved all three episodes they were so good so fun so spooky but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video